Welcome back to KG Gaming, guys. Today we're playing Hunter Sim 2 again. We've already done these two episodes here. One of them was the very first time I've ever played the game. I was hunting a moose. Uh, it's kind of rough. Didn't understand the game at all. Episode 2 is a little bit better. Still really didn't understand the game. Still, to this day, I don't know why I'm not allowed to shoot a fox with a 270. I think that's baloney. But I ended up going on like a 30-minute hunt for a grizzly bear. It was extremely hard, but honestly, kind of rewarding. Towards the end of that episode, I actually found a hunting style that I actually like. It's pretty simple. You come up to the top of a pretty high mountain, find a spot you want to watch, and then you just pull out your binoculars and you just scan that thing. If you find a deer, you find an animal, you, you try your best, you just start moving to it. This is called glassing. This is actually a really popular technique for real life hunting. I come from playing Hunter Call of the Wild and on that game, you just can't glass. The animals don't render. And just like that, I just glassed a deer, a little mule deer way down there. Yeah, we're going to try to go after it. Plan of action is to look around, look at the terrain. How is my best way going to be able to get there? I think I'm just going to follow this point straight down. Maybe by the end of the point, I'll be close enough to take a shot. The gun that I have is the gun I started out with. It's just a, it's like a Winchester. It's a 270. It's pretty good. It can kill about anything. I'd rather have a 308, but oh yeah. Also, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to mark it on my map where I seen it, which is uh, right there. Just in case I lose it. I'm learning, guys. I'm getting better at this game. Now I'm going to get right here. I'm going to glass again. Oh, snap. That's a bigger one. Honestly, a 200-yard shot? 200 meters? I can take that. Should I try to take it or should I try to get a little closer? You know what? It looks like they're getting closer to me. If they if they come right through there, what if I move positions a little bit and get to where they should walk right through there? And then I should have a pretty perfect shot right through here. I think that's what I'm going to do. If I can get that buck to walk right through here, I should be in a perfect spot for it. From the way he was moving, he looked like he was going to come down through here i'll get right here to this oh dude look what a spot that's him right there oh son i don't think he was going far that was a pretty good shot i hit him again shoot him till he's down he's going down he's going down i'll shoot him another time after. are you kidding me are you serious what there's no way i just got fine for shooting a deer too many times. Shooting a deer multiple times is the most ethical thing you can do. I did not just get fined $250 for doing the right thing. I got fined last episode for shooting a fox with a 270. Roll the clip. Wrong caliber for a fox? Are you kidding me? I can't shoot that with a 270? Have you ever been to Kentucky? No such thing as wrong caliber. I just got Excuse me? I just got fined $250 for shooting a red fox with a 270? What is this? That blew my mind. What in the world is this game? Whenever you go elk hunting, one of the main things they tell you is to keep shooting until it falls down. Who made this game? Do they even hunt? And even after I shot it a third time, it still did. Okay, it dropped. That is unbelievable. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look it up. Oh. Made. What game is this called? Hunting Simulator 2. No pick up. Independent game development studio in Belgium. They also made games such as truck racing and a bunch of dog and cat games and a horse game and apparently a dolphin game and America's top next model. Maybe, maybe the people who make this kind of games probably, you know, maybe shouldn't try to make a hunting game. Am I, am I crazy for that? They probably got a speed limit on that truck game. Penalize you for going too fast. Anyways, I'll tell you what, boys. I'm just gonna glass a little bit around here in the bottom. I really want to get a good vantage point, so I kind of need to look on my map, and I think I need to get right up here. I'm going to go ahead and mark it with a white-tailed deer. I need to go up there on that mountain. I'll catch you guys when I get up there, or if something crazy happens, maybe I'll run up on a bear or something. I don't know. Alright, guys, I have not found an animal yet, but I just want to bring y'all along to glass with me. Basically, what you do is you just look over in the canyon, wherever you can, just look for something. Like, man, it could be a fox, it can be a deer. Oh, there's a red fox. Guess what? I ain't allowed to shoot it. Because I'll get fired. I literally just started the game. It's not like I have five different guns to choose from. I only have a 270. They want me to go to Walmart and buy a new one, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to just keep glassing. We'll glass the edge. You know, everything likes to drink water. There, it looks like there's good grass down there by the water. So I'll just glass. Look at all that stuff. See if I can't find something. There should be something over there. Yeah, I didn't see anything over there. So let me go to the other side of the hill. Look in the other canyon. Basically, Basically, you just do this till you find something and if it and if you find what you 
you want to hunt, go after it. That's how it is in real life too. Except in real life, it, it takes a whole lot longer. There's a bear, guys. What is it? It's a black bear. Yes, I have a tag. He's moving kind of quick too. I already spent my grizzly tag in last episode. I'm gonna wait for him to get right there. Oh, baby. That's it. It's game over for him. He's going down. Now, in real life, it's a very, very unwise to run up on a black bear you just shot. Oh, whoa, there he is. I didn't know he died that soon. boy, right in the lungs. I just fulfilled my one of one bear license. Let's fast travel all the way back over here to the cabin and sell the furs I got. All right, I got the moose. I don't even remember killing that. I'll sell it though. Got the grizzly, the mule deer, and the black bear. Let's see how much money I got. Let's go back to the lodge. I may buy a new gun. I think I need to buy a shotgun and maybe a lower caliber rifle so that I can actually take animals like that. Oh, uh, fox. Okay, license. I'm gonna buy a new hunting license for the black bear i mean the grizzly bear and the black bear i got tags for everything else but i do need to buy weapons 223 would be a really good caliber for fox it's right in the middle that's a browning brownings are good i need a 223 whatever i get i could get the winchester this thing in 243 what gun is this i like that i think i'm gonna get this one it's, it's a Saco. kind of expensive though yeah i'm gonna get this one instead now optics i'm gonna put the scope same scope on it let's go for another weapon oh dang it oh Should've got one of these for the coyote. It's all right, I'll buy one, I got money. The question is, which one do we want? Dude, these look sick, don't they? Flat, dark earth. I need a 223. I'm gonna get this one, burnt bronze. 223, bought it. Shotguns, I do need a shotgun. I prefer a semi-auto. I'm gonna buy this one. I like that, 12 gauge, perfect. Um, as for a bow, maybe even next episode. I can't really afford that stuff. Uh, a deer call, sure. Predator call, sure. Moose call. Sure. That dog looks like it's just gonna take off running and run right off a cliff. All right, guys. We are in the game, and we have our new gun. It's the 223. I couldn't figure out how to equip the uh, shotgun, so we don't have it. Let's hope we don't see something that requires a shotgun. But if we do, I'll probably just shoot it anyhow. Oh, snap. Whoa, 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 Boys, we got a fox moving in. We got a fox moving in. Let me get up in there. Hurry, quick. All right, we got a fox moving in. I have a fox call. Predator call. This is it. This is it. This is it. Blow it. Blow it. <laughs> That should bring that fox right in as long as he... Yeah, he heard it. He's coming in, dude. Let me just get my gun blasted. I'm gonna let him get closer. There's no need to rush something like this. He seems like he's coming in, dude. I'll let him get right over here. There he is. He's coming, boys. As soon as he stops, I'm gonna shoot. I don't want to shoot him moving. I'm gonna shoot him. He's gone. I'll shoot at you as many times as I want to. I don't know. I don't care how many times I get fined. Now we just gotta find blood. Pretty sure I last saw him right over here, but I need to find a blood trail first. Yeah, there's a blood trail. Man, dude, he didn't bleed much. Blood trails like this is when a dog would come in handy. I can barely see it. There he is. Yes, sir. I think I shot him right through the chest, but I mean, I don't know. This isn't a very detailed assessment. Now what we're gonna do is see, is a 223 too big for ducks in this game? Cause uh, we're gonna try it. I bought a duck tag. Oh yeah, wrong caliber. Take my money. Seriously though, what do you what do they want you to do? Walk out there in a boat, walk on water and shoot them? A shotgun can't shoot that far. Yeah, I tried. Anyways, guys, subscribe if you're not already. If you've not seen these two episodes, go and check them out. I'm looking forward to episode four because I think I'm just now starting to figure out this game.